Assalamualaikum. You guys, I was just pondering upon this the other day. Um, Ramadan is like a training. It's like a boot camp. I feel like it's Allah's way of showing us what our body and our mind is capable of doing. For 30 days straight, we, our whole entire routine gets turned upside down. You know, throughout the year, we are always making these um, excuses, I'd call them, that I don't have time to pray Quran. I don't have time to pray Tarawi. I don't have time to pray Namaz. I don't have time to sit there and do remembrance of Allah. I don't have time to do Islamic things. But however, in Ramadan, during Ramadan, we are able to find that time, which is insane, right? For 30 days straight, we turn our schedules upside down and we're able to find time to read Quran. We're able to find time to pray Salah if we are not already praying. And we're able to find time to do things that we were not used to doing before. And you know, they say it takes about 21 to 28 days to build a habit. And like Ramadan is like 29 to 30 days long. So it's like showing you that you are capable of creating that habit. It's possible. So I want you to take this Ramadan as a reminder that you are capable of doing so much more than what you give yourself credit for. So whatever habits that you build this Ramadan, try to keep them long term. Try to do them because if it's possible in Ramadan, it's most definitely possible the other months as well. I know the shaitan is at work 24 seven, so it is a little bit harder outside of Ramadan to do these good deeds, but we can still do it guys. It's still possible. Um, a bit hard, but definitely possible. And yeah, may Allah give us the tawfiq to be steadfast on his religion, on the deen of Islam, on the haq. And yeah, I hope you guys have a very blessed Ramadan. Bye.